It's Rob on the Road, discovering the stories that capture the unique spirit of Northern California. Here's KVIE's Rob Stewart. Well, you probably have gotten rid of old e-waste before, right? Computers, televisions, flat screens, you name it. But what happens once you drop it off to be recycled? It is really cool, and we're going to show you today on Rob on the Road. is rocking and rolling. We are inside California Electronic Asset Recovery, known as SEER, with Kristen DeLalo. Good to see you, Kristen. Good to see you. Welcome to the facility. Yeah, we got our safety glasses, which we have to wear. We got our safety gloves, because check it out. Just look at all of these used computers, televisions, everything you can think of. These are circuit boards from one of the 8 million pounds of TVs we recycled this year. My goodness. And so everything comes in here you name it. I mean, what all comes through these doors? Cell phones, uh, computers, laptop computers, televisions, stereos, anything basically with a cord and a circuit board, we can recycle it here. It's amazing how technology has changed. You really see it here. You know, the average lifespan of a computer right now is 18 months. So you can imagine how many we, we see come through these doors. Unbelievable. You guys have skyrocketed in business. Yes, we have. Talk to me about that. Over the last three years, we've gone from 8 million pounds total to 15 million pounds, and now this year we've done about 20 million pounds. Of all different types of electronics. Everything. It just goes to show. It's a tale of how our industry, our, our, our society wants more, wants new, wants better, wants the best. And then it comes here and we can actually, rather than throwing it into the trash, dismantle it all, take it apart, and recycle the glass, plastics, metals. It's all made into new materials. Right now, they're loading computers into the machine. Wow. So they're going to travel up the conveyor belt, and then they're going to spin in there, and they're going to all be broken apart rather than cut up with knives. I am so impressed with the fact that all of this place that we have seen came from right here. Thank you. <laughs> from Thank your you. brain. Thank you. And Thank from you. your garage. Thank this you. company, yes. Sears, started in your garage. How in the world did you pull this off? Well, it's, uh, it started in 2000, and then um, I saw the, the electronic um, is getting much short lifespan. And then uh, it's more and more, and we depend on electronics day and day. So. We have to do something. We just cannot just throw them into the landfill. Well, it's amazing how this machine separates through centrifugal force and it doesn't do cutting. It's a cleaner, greener way of recycling. One of the things that is so neat is you've never let anybody in this room before, so we appreciate we, it. We <laughs> try to keep the secret. Well, <laughs> the secret's out, buddy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I would have never imagined that this is what happens to the things when you turn them into recycling. Yeah, like, nobody imagines it. Till you come here and see the big piles of everything, you just can't imagine. And it is, like I said, it's great for people to know that when they're bringing their things to recycle at a, a responsible recycler like us, their products are actually being made into new products. So it's basically called urban mining. We're using what we've already created to go into new products rather than having to go and mine the earth again. Kind of a different spin on the California gold rush. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you will. This place is wild. Yeah, it's a wild <laughs> ride every day. I'm telling you what. Well, listen, Kristen, this has been awesome. Absolutely. Nice Thank to you. have you. Yeah, here we are at California Electronic Asset Recovery, known as SEER in Sacramento. To explore other places with Rob, log on to kvie.org slash Rob on the Road. Bank of America is proud to support Rob on the Road. Bank of America provides loans for and supports the emerging sector and is committed to making Sacramento the green capital.